Hi, Ms. Bratcher here, and in this video we're going to learn how to crop and compress all of our images before putting them on the web. Compressing them will make the file size smaller, cropping them will remove parts of the image that you no longer want. To get your images in Photoshop, first you need to open Adobe Photoshop. Uh, you can drag and drop images directly into Photoshop, or you can go to File, Open, then you can find your H drive, find your web design folder, my site folder. You then want to go into your review folder because that's where we saved these and then in your images folder. So far I have two images here with really long names but we're going to fix that here when we save them. And the first one you'll notice is 158 kilobytes. So I'm going to open that file up. And if you need to crop part of it, go ahead and crop part of the image out. So I can hit crop. And we're going to resize and crop at the same time. So up here, instead of a 7 inch by 5 inch picture, I want you guys to resize it to 200 pixels. So I'm going to type 200 px, which stands for pixels, by 200 px. Uh, to put that in perspective, most of your monitors might be around 1200 pixels wide. So this picture will be 200 pixels and that's a perfect square. So I can move this around and get the picture right where I want it to be. Double click. It's now resized it and it's cropped out the parts that I don't want. Another way to resize an image is to go to image, image size, and then you can choose whatever size you'd like. So that's image, image size, and you can type in whatever size you'd like there. Then to compress it, we're going to save it. File, save as. I'm going to get rid of the really long name because you want your file names to have no capital letters, no spaces, and less than eight characters. So I've got this information saved someplace else where I can come back to it. And I'm going to call this Sunset 1. And I'm going to hit Save. And then it pops up with this box that asks me what quality I want it to be. So I'm going to drop it down to a 6. And what you can see happens if I drop it as small as it goes, it gets very pixelated and blurry. If I bring it up as high as it goes, it's 49 kilobytes. So I like to go as low as I can, around a 5 or a 6, without losing any image quality. I've now cropped this picture, I've resized it, and I've compressed it. The two that you probably want to do before putting any picture on the web are compressing for sure so that your website loads more quickly and resizing, but you're not required to crop. If you are one of my advanced web students and you want to explore more with compression, you can go to File, Save for the Web, and this dialog box pops up with all kinds of options that you can explore. You can choose your image type first how you want it compressed, high, medium, low quality. It tells you the quality here, so you can adjust that there, just like we did earlier. You can change the size right here. You can just mess with these different options, and it shows you a preview of what you're doing.